In this episode, let's look at how to remove echo, which is technically reverb from your dialogue audio recordings. We'll do that with two different plugins, and they both work in Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have a dialogue audio recording that has lots of echo, which is technically reverb or audio reflection, it'll sound something like this. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. Okay, we'll play through that a lot of times to get a better sense for what that sounds like. But if you have that issue, is there a way to fix that using Adobe Audition? Well, with the built-in tools, there's not an easy way to do it. However, there are some plugins that you can purchase to add in that can help with that issue. For big budget films, there is Isotope's RX4 Advanced. And actually for them, that would be a drop in the bucket. That's probably suitable for large budget films and for maybe medium budget films. It costs $1,200 US, probably not an option for enthusiasts or others that are not making money from their videos. However, here are a couple of plugins that are $100 or less that we're gonna look at really quickly here that can help with this case. Let's look at the first one. The first one is called Acon Digital Deverberate. This is a trial version. We will go ahead and play through our audio and then turn this on so we can see what it sounds like. We'll go ahead and use a preset. There are four presets. We're gonna use Reduce Room Reverb. Now I will play through first without and then with. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones, the Audio-Technica 4053B on the left channel and the Rode NTG4 Plus on the right channel. Now, okay, that uh, definitely reduces some of the reverb, but it sounds like it's introducing some artifacts and some other strange things. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn a couple of these things off here that we're gonna come back to. And really what it comes down to is fine tuning these two settings here, reverb time and reverb level. The reverb time refers to how long before the original sound reflects off the walls and makes it back to the microphone. So the case here, we have a very, very small room. This is actually a kind of a dining room with eight foot ceilings, relatively small room. So the reflections are coming back very quickly, which means we probably need to tune this reverb time down. And one of the tools that we have here that can help us do that is this difference monitoring. And what this does is when we play back, it will play back the parts that the plugin is removing, that is the reverb part. And we'll kind of fine tune this reverb time until we get to a point where it just seems like it's capturing the reverb and not the original dialogue. So let's go ahead and play that. I'm going to go ahead and tweak this down as we play back because I think that the, in this particular case, because we were in such a small room, that this reverb time probably needs to be lower. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I'm recording this on two separate microphones, the audio picture 4053B on the left channel and TG4 Plus on the right channel. Now, I understand that. Okay, I think we kind of got it dialed in there. Let's go ahead again and play it back. Now, we uncheck the difference monitoring so we can hear what effect it's doing here, what it's actually doing in terms of removing the reverb. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two sets. Okay, that's definitely sounding better. It's not having as much of that artifacting sound. And then what we can do from there is go ahead and play through again and fine tune this reverb level. This is the amount that it's reducing the reverb. So again, play through and tweak. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones, the Audio-Technica 4053B on the left channel and the Rode NTG4 Plus on the right channel. Now, I understand that a uh, shotgun is not really something you should normally use indoors, especially when you have a very... Okay, that's working pretty well for us. If we had any more artifacts that we felt like were still there, we can also use this spectral smoothing setting. The spectral smoothing setting actually will reduce some of those artifacts, but it may bring back a little bit of the, re the reverb. So let's go ahead and play through and I'll kind of fine tune that. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones. Okay, so it's doing a pretty good job at that point. I am not an expert at using this just yet. There are some other things you can use. There's also this emphasis filter, which is actually a, essentially a, an EQ filter that allows you to tune the EQ for the portion that it's trying to remove. And we're not gonna dive into that. That's a little bit more advanced here and, and something that I don't entirely understand how to use just yet. But let's go ahead and compare this now to the other plugin we're going to look at today. And this one is called the SPL Dverb. 
Now we pull this one up. This one is much more straightforward, much more simple. It really kind of only has two settings. The number one is reverb reduction. The other is output gain. So this is just going to increase the gain as the audio is coming out of the plugin. But the reverb reduction is really probably the more important one. We have a variety of different presets, just like the other one. Most of them are actually music oriented. However, there is this interview room killer and there is also less room, more direct. Let's use this less room, more direct as a starting point and go ahead and play through. I'll go ahead and play through and kind of tweak the reverb reduction until I feel like it's getting to a point where it's reducing the reverb but not affecting the dialogue. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones, the Audio-Technica 4053B on the left channel and the Rode NTG4 Plus on the right channel. Now, I understand that a uh, shotgun is not really something you should normally use indoors, especially when you have a very uh, a room with a lot of echo or reflections. So this is just a test to provide a sample that has a lot of echoes. Okay, I think probably somewhere in the minus 13, minus 14 range is probably our, our best bet here. Let's go ahead and play through this again. I'll have this off first, and then we'll turn it on to see the difference. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones, the Audio-Technica 4053B on the left channel and the Rode NTG4 Plus on the right channel. Okay, so it definitely makes a difference. It's not quite as clean necessarily, and you can't kind of fine tune it as much, but it is pretty effective and pretty simple. So let's compare the two. First, we'll go ahead and play through with the Akon Digital Deverberate, which we have with our settings. I'll turn that off, play a couple of seconds with none of the plugins, and then go ahead and turn on the SPL Deverb so you can hear the difference. Here we have a recording in a very echoey room or room with a lot of reverb. I am recording this on two separate microphones, the Audio-Technica 4053B on the left channel and the Rode NTG4 Plus on the right channel. Now, I understand that a uh, shotgun is not really something you should normally use indoors, especially when you have a very, uh, a room with a lot of... Okay, so kind of my, my sense at this point is that the Akon Digital Deverberate is definitely able to clean things up a little bit more and you have a lot more control over kind of really dialing in the sound that you want and how much reverb to remove without introducing a lot of artifacting. However, the SPL Deverb is very nice at <laughs> making the whole process very simple and straightforward. While it may not allow you to remove quite as much of the reverb. How are these priced? The SPL Deverb is priced at $59 US at present, and the Akon Digital Deverberate is priced at $99.90 US at present. So I hope that was helpful for you. I have not made my final decision here. I probably would go more with the Akon Digital Deverberate because you have a little bit more control. But if you know of other plugins that are kind of in the same price range here, uh, go ahead and let us know about those down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.